Hello, my water signs. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your reading, focusing on love and life. So not just love and romance. We're going to tap into things that are going on in your life at the moment. And it's general as always, guys. It will not resonate with every water sign out there. So please take from it what makes sense to you and leave the rest behind. Anyone interested in a personal private reading from me, all that information as always is down below this video. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what's going on in life, in love. For my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, angels, please bring it forward for my water signs. What messages would my water signs benefit from at this time? All right, guys, what needs to come through for you? see all right let's take these we've got the Sun beautiful card we also have the nine of fire coming through that is the nine of wands we have the awakening card coming through as well blessed by Archangel Gabriel we have the eight of earth which is the equivalent of the eight of Pentacles and we've got two of earth Two of Pentacles coming through as well. Wow, beautiful card to start off with, with that Sun card. Love that. Okay, so let me set these aside. So we've got a happy outcome that's being represented here for you to start off. And that is representative of success and joy and happiness. This card indicates a brilliant, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. So have confidence in yourself. Okay, so if there's a new idea that you've been tapping into for my water signs, perhaps some of you guys want to go into business for yourself and you've been afraid to go after it with the sun card, it's blessing you and giving you the opportunity to go for it. Okay, it is after all the most positive card in the tarot deck. So if you've kind of been hesitant about going for it, whatever, whatever it is that you are focused on by way of your goals, and desires in life. Go for it, guys, okay? For some of you, it is indicative of a new birth, a new addition to your family. It is picking up off of the elements of a, new, a renewal of life, optimism, and enthusiasm. For some of you, it's also indicative of good health. So if you have had some health issues, then it's coming forward now that you're going to get past that. It's bringing forward your vitality once again, restoring your vitality. It is promised prosperity and bliss with the sun. It's now bringing forward illumination in parts of your life that may have been in the dark. If you were kept out of the loop, perhaps in some sort of situation that you weren't quite sure what was going on, that will now be illuminated if it hasn't already been. And it's now bringing forward an element of pleasure and contentment as well. But definitely the truth will be revealed with that sun card. Certain paths in your life will emerge once again. So it's indicative of either accomplishment or vindication in a particular area of your life. For some of you, I do see graduations because this is indicative of education that is completed. There are graduations that are happening and this is certainly graduation season. We're about to get into it. So that's indicative of that. For some of you, I'm picking up here that you recently got married and or are about to get married. This is also indicative of unions. For those of you in business, you might be merging your company with another company because this is certainly indicative of mergers as well in business, not just in regard to your love life. So a lot of good things coming in for my water signs. We have the nine of fire indicated here as well. And this card states, don't give up, protect that which you've created, have courage and believe in yourself. So really we do have two cards side by side, tapping into your confidence, okay? With the sun card, have confidence in yourself. With the nine of fire, it's wanting you to believe in yourself. So for whatever area of your life, that you are tapping into at the moment. 
and you perhaps have had some challenges and obstacles that you've been dealing with and your self-esteem has been affected, your self-confidence has been affected and you're not quite sure if you have it in you to manifest whatever it is that you want. Well, you certainly do. With that nine of fire, that nine of wands energy, this is someone who's very resilient and persistent. This is someone that has had to fight for what they want. But if you keep going, you will succeed. You will absolutely succeed in that, you know? So don't give up. Don't give up. You can do it. So with the awakening card, this is picking up off of the hanged man energy. Look at things from a different perspective. It is a temporary standstill for some of you. It's important to be yourself. Don't, be, don't try to be something that you're not, especially when you're trying to achieve something, not only in the business world, but also in regard to love and romance. Just be yourself and you will absolutely manifest what is meant to be yours. But because there is a standstill here, but however temporary it is, there's not a whole lot of movement for some of you. Because it is coming forward with suspension, having to let go of things that no longer serve you, having faith that you're going to be put on the right path and that what's meant to be yours will be yours. You know, with the hangman, it really gives you that new perspective to see things from a different light. If things have been a little bit challenging for some of you, things are going to smooth out. And once you make a decision to move your life towards a better path. Once you do that, things are gonna be a lot calmer, a lot more peaceful. But you do have some work to do by releasing what does not serve you so that you can make room to receive good in your life, to receive prosperity, to be able to manifest what it is that you want in your life. So this comes forward with some transformation you have to come from a place of gratitude in order to welcome in positive energies into your life. But it is understandable if at this moment you're a little bit confused as to the direction that you want to go. And that's okay. With the hanged man energy, it's giving you the opportunity to just stand still for a minute until you can figure out the direction that you want to go. Because it is a period of transition and change, yes but it's also giving you the opportunity to take a step back and just, just wait a minute before you make any major decisions that will be life altering. But at the end of the day, you will be healing from things that need to be healed. You're leaving your past behind, letting go of things that are no longer or should be a part of your life any longer. And your problems will rectify themselves. Now with the Eight of Earth, which is the Eight of Pentacles, this is picking up off of education. For some of you, your skilled work is rewarded, learning all there is to know about a topic, going back to school. So for some of you guys wanting to further your education, learning a new craft, honing your skill in a particular craft that you have been wanting to become more of an expert in, that's indicated here. So find your self-confidence, guys, and believe that you can achieve whatever you focus on. And for those of you wanting to go back to school, you can absolutely manifest this. And I am feeling for some of you that you're feeling like time has passed you by and the opportunity to finish school has come and gone. But you no, know, you can certainly go back and pursue this goal if that is something that you want. It doesn't matter if you are in your 20s or if you are in your 70s. It does not matter. If this is something that you want to do, go for it. The only obstacle that's standing in your way, guys, is yourself. You can do it. You can go for it. And right next to that, we do have the Two of Earth. 
which is the two of pentacles in traditional tarot. So there is a need for balance. And this card states there's too much going on at once. The need to make a decision, consider a more playful approach. So perhaps you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed at this time. There is a lot going on. I am feeling that. Life is busy. And so when things are a little bit overwhelming, it's, it's very difficult to be laser focused on a goal and make a decision to go after it. But you can certainly clear, clear out whatever chaotic energies are coming through here and still your mind for a second. And that is why the hanged man energy is so necessary here because it's giving you the opportunity to just stand still for a second. Stand still in the middle of all that chaos going on around you so that you can make the best decision for your life and for yourself. All right, guys. So let's dig a little deeper with some psychic tarot messages. I finally had to retire my other deck because it was falling apart. I've used it so much that it was just fraying and it was just not shuffling correctly but I absolutely love this deck as you guys know it's very prominent in my readings so yeah this is my second psychic tarot deck all right so let's see what other messages need to come through for Cancer Scorpio and Pisces so angels please bring it forward what else needs to come through for my water signs all right, guys, what else do we need to know at this time for you? Okay, got a couple of cups coming through here. Rejoice and celebration. That is the three of cups. We also have the five of cups coming through with emotional loss. So some of you guys are dealing with some sort of loss, regret. There's something in your life that you are regretting at this time. But right next to the Three of Cups energy where it's really bringing forward some happy times. Lots of celebrations coming in. For some of you, it is indicative of weddings, graduations, a new birth in the family, engagements. It could be any of those things. But of course, on the flip side is that some of you guys may be dealing with some sort of third party situations in your love connections that's coming through here and perhaps that's part of this five of cups that is coming through you're feeling that this person really hurt you you regret possibly starting a relationship with them that's for some of you guys let's see what else what else needs to come through for my water signs? But I love how the Three of Cups is falling right below that Sun card because lots of happy times coming in for you. What else needs to come through for my water signs, please? What else do we need to know for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces? All right, we have a couple. Okay, we've got the two of pentacles, movement choices and decisions, but that did come up in the reverse, okay? And we also had love begins, the ace of pentacles, I mean, the ace of cups also falling in the reverse. So with the two of pentacles in the reverse, that's coming forward with a loss of balance, something that feels disorganized in your life and certainly that continuing element of feeling overwhelmed with that two of earth energy there, there's too much going on all at once and you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed for some of you you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed in finances that's been a little bit challenging i'm feeling here And it's, it's, you know, with this Ace of Cups 
falling in the reverse. It's really reiterating the same energies as this five of cups because at the end of the day when it comes up in the reverse it's tapping into emotional loss that feeling of emptiness some sort of blocked creativity okay that's coming through there and the bottom card is sacrifice which is the hanged man so we're getting the hanged man coming through twice in this reading for my water signs. Coming through twice. So really wanting you to look at things from a different perspective and reiterating the fact that there is a temporary standstill that is needing to happen at this time. Because by doing so, that calms the waters a little bit in order for you to get rid of some of the chaotic energy that's going on in your life right now, especially those of you dealing with this emotional loss. You need time to process all of this because that's some dark energies coming forward here. So you need to kind of process that in order for you to come back towards the light of the sun and what the sun is offering you by way of this happy outcome. So it might seem like things are a, a bit bleak right now, very, um, some sad energy coming through from some of you. And that's quite understandable, especially those of you who have just broken up with a person that you trusted. I'm feeling a bit of betrayal here. Again, for some of you, there was a third party that you had to deal with. So take the time to heal from that. And then eventually you need to release it when, you, when you're ready. So it makes sense that we've got the hanged man coming through twice. Because it's simply reiterating the fact that you need to release what does not serve you. And what is no longer serving you is this relationship for some of you guys. Even though you still have to grieve Go, th go through that grieving process of losing that connection, it's ultimately a blessing in disguise. And it's going to allow life to now make room for you to receive what is meant for you and to replace these darker energies and bring you back towards a lighter path, an illuminated path that will be offered by the sun. Okay, so now let's tap into some additional love messages with the romance angels and let's see what else. What else is going on here? So angels and spirit guides for my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What else can you share at this time, please? In love and romance. What else? What else do we need to know? at this time for my water signs in love and romance. Please bring it forward. What do we need to know? Past life relationship coming through here. You have known each other before. You've known this person before. And perhaps in the past, Things were turbulent as well. And so you guys reconnected in this lifetime to pick up where you left off. But it's still coming forward with some challenges there, you know? What else do we need to know? Make the effort. Okay, for me, this is indicative of my divine masculines needing to make the effort to move a relationship forward. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. But for some of you, especially those who had to deal with a third party situation, this person did not put forward the necessary effort to show you that they loved you, that they cared, that they were fully invested in the connection. They did just the opposite. They were putting forward the effort towards someone else. And you deserve so much better than that, you know? And the sun is going to offer you that happiness that this person was unable to, to give you. 
Oops, sorry, let me grab that, hold on. Okay, we've got express your love coming through here. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So for some of you, you may actually have made a love connection where there's this level of hesitancy on your part, perhaps, because you have been burnt in the past, you're still healing from a broken heart, and you're afraid to give fully of yourself. That is a possibility here. But the angels are coming through to give you the green light that you can absolutely go for it. Express your love. And look at this bottom card. It is safe for you to love. You can get past this, guys, okay? So it's certainly indicated here that this person hurt you, especially those of you who had to deal with a third-party situation. Certainly that's coming through here. There was a lack of effort on that person's part. And so for some of you guys moving on, you're a bit scared to fully express how you are feeling to this other person, but the angels are reminding you that it's absolutely safe for you to move forward and to love again. You just need to take the time and open up your heart to be able to receive love once again. And once you do, things are going to eventually shift the direction of your life towards a happier energy. And by doing so, your Ace of Cups will be in the upright, okay? But with this person right now, and you're still healing from it, it's coming through reversed, okay? So let's pull some Oracle messages from the Twin Flame Messages card decks. You don't have to identify with the Twin Flame connection, guys. Some of you may, but you don't have to. Okay, so we're just tapping into the thoughts and feelings, whoever it is that you are thinking about for this reading. What are they thinking of? Words that they haven't been able to express possibly that they really need to or have been wanting to. And it could certainly be tapping into my water signs who feel a need to express themselves but just haven't been able to. Okay, so take it for however way it makes sense. If we get a bunch of cards that come through, you don't have to resonate with each and every message. So take it for however way it makes sense for your situation. All right. Who needs to speak up for my water signs? Who needs to speak up here? I'm in a much better headspace now. Okay. So perhaps this person that you were involved in with the third party situation, they've done some soul searching and they feel that they are in a much better headspace now. That's for some of you. And this could also be picking up off of my water signs because you've taken the time to heal yourself. Or you're still in the process of healing and you're slowly coming into this better headspace to welcome in the right kind of love this time. And look at this bottom card. Would you reject me? So this person that has you in this emotional loss headspace, they're wondering, would you take them back? For some of you, I, I'm already picking up that you're not interested. There's no way that you would ever want to reconcile with this person, especially coming from a third party situation. And if that's not the case, they simply hurt you in however way things ended between the two of you. And now they're coming through with this message of, would you reject me? And I'm, I'm already hearing some of you guys saying, oh, hell yeah, I would reject you. I don't want you back. You put me through hell. I don't want to, I don't want you back. You can go, you know, that's what I'm feeling from some of you. And look at this other card coming through. Our connection still affects me. It's still affecting them. And it's still affecting you because 
you had love for this individual and it's almost like they realized they loved you a little bit too late. And now they're feeling guilty. They are feeling remorseful. They are feeling regret over things that they've done. But I'm feeling, for most of you tuning in, you're feeling that you're done. You may always have love for this person, but you deserve better. And you're going to tear down those walls that you've built around yourself for the right person. Yeah, so that's where this person's headspace is at. They feel that they, they're in a much better headspace, but again, for some of you guys, I'm really feeling that you feel it's too late. It's too late, you know? All right, let's tap into volume two of the Twin Flame messages and let's add to this. There's other things that need to be expressed here that have not been given the opportunity to come through. So let's tap into those energies, guys, and let's see what else needs to be expressed. So angels for my water signs, what else needs to come through here? And again, you don't have to resonate with each and every card, okay? What else needs to come through here for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces? What else needs to come through? Who else needs to speak up? Whether it's an X, whether it's my water signs. I will come back for you. There's someone in your life, guys, that wants to reconcile. They want to come back. Whether or not you want them back is a whole nother story. But they want to come back into your life. The question is, will you allow them to come back into your life? Have they done enough work on themselves to learn from whatever it was? that broke your heart, that hurt you, that put you in this state of emotional loss? Do they even deserve to come back into your life? So these are all questions that you need to entertain and ask yourself, guys. And at the end of the day, it's your decision whether you want to accept them back into your life. But the desire from this person is certainly coming through that that is what they want. And look at this bottom card here. The thought of you still does things to me. Interesting. Look at the card right after that. Am I good enough for you? No, they're not. What I'm feeling here is you deserve better. Am I good enough for you? No, they're not. You deserve someone who will put you first this time. Someone that will not hurt you. Someone that will not put you into a third party situation. Someone who will make you their priority. Yeah, they're still thinking about you. Because at the end of the day, you guys could have been soulmates. You guys could have been twin flames. But part of that journey, oftentimes it goes into separation for a reason. So if this person comes back into your life, guys, they need to earn their way back into your heart, into your life. But at this point in time, the energies I'm feeling from this is that, no, they're not good enough for you. You deserve better. You deserve so much better than what this person's energies is coming forward with. That's just what I'm feeling from that. Okay, so let's tap into some additional messages with the Lover's Oracle. What else can we tap into for my water signs, please, angels? Okay, we've got a few. Okay, I love this bottom of the deck card. I'm gonna pull that. Okay, so we've got 
three heart cards, four heart cards, okay. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Okay, so this could be tapping into twin flame energy here because there's that mirroring energy. So if you are feeling as if you are part of a twin flame connection, it could certainly be tapping into that. The next card coming through is healing, which again, I do feel some of you guys are in that process of healing and letting go of this person that has truly hurt you and broke your heart. Okay, this card states, imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light, feel your relationship being healed this very moment. That's coming through for some of you. So for those of you who are wanting to entertain a reconciliation with the person that you are watching this reading for, there certainly needs to be healing there. Because I, I'm still holding firm to the thought that they need to deserve the opportunity to come back into your life. And for some of you, for this person who will actually do the work on themselves to come forward as a better person towards you, then that's a good thing. And it's certainly your call if you want to take them back into your life. Okay? Third card coming through. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light. So there are certainly new opportunities and possibilities that want to come into your life. Absolutely. And all the more reason to be entertaining the energies of this hanged man card coming through twice. Creating that temporary standstill that is so important because it allows you to truly see things from a different light. To see things from a different perspective so that you can make better decisions for yourself. Not just in relation to your love life, but really areas of your life that need attention. And look at this bottom of the deck card, guys. Beautiful message. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Fantastic. Whatever it is that you are dreaming about, if it is for the better, if it is to propel your life towards a better path, that is fantastic, and I truly hope and pray that you do manifest that. For some of you, I'm already hearing that you really do need a miracle in order to manifest what it is that you're desiring in your life. This is giving you the opportunity to believe that it's possible. All right, guys, so let's close out your reading with some final thoughts from the Guardian Angel cards. Some final thoughts, please, angels, for my water signs. There we are. Okay. Wow. What was I just saying, guys? Miracle. Dearest one, even if all hope seems lost, let not hope slip away. For I, your guardian angel, am constantly by your side. Surrender all your concerns to me and trust in the healing power of love. Please believe that you are never alone. Together we shall work through each issue or situation which is of concern to you. All heals with the passing of time. Magic and miracles are about to manifest. Whoa. <laughs> Two cards talking about miracles. So I am already picking up the energies from some of you that you are seriously losing hope in manifesting something in your life that you really thought was a done deal whether that's in relation to a relationship or something going on in your life where you felt, I really need a miracle in order to manifest this. Well, here you are, two cards coming forward, indicating miracles are coming your way. My goodness. Fantastic. I love how that came through for you. 
So that's my reading at this time, guys. I hope that whoever this came through for, that it really offered you some great advice and healing and clarity. So anyone interested in a personal private reading, please access that information down below this video. And I'd appreciate a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Thank you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.